What if I told you that one of history's most enigmatic figures was not just a seductress, but a shrewd political tactician and a learned scholar? Yes, I am talking about Cleopatra. Born into the Greek Macedonian Ptolemaic dynasty, Cleopatra was raised in a world where power was the ultimate prize. Her life was a complex tapestry of political maneuvering, as she navigated the treacherous waters of family rivalry and power struggles. As the last pharaoh of Egypt, her ascension to the throne was not a simple path. It was a journey marked by the shadows of her siblings, the echoes of her ancestors, and the weight of the crown she was destined to wear. Her story is not one of mere seduction and allure, but a testament to her political acumen and her determination to hold on to her power. Cleopatra's rise to power was not devoid of family drama and political intrigue. Cleopatra's reign was a tumultuous period marked by strategic alliances and political maneuvering. From the moment she ascended to the throne, Cleopatra was embroiled in a power struggle. She faced rebellions, political instability, and the ever-present threat of Roman intervention. But Cleopatra was not one to be easily swayed. She was a shrewd ruler, employing a mix of political strategies and administrative policies to maintain her hold on the throne. Among her most notable alliances were those with two of Rome's most powerful figures, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. These relationships were not merely personal affairs, but strategic alliances that significantly influenced the politics of Egypt and Rome. For instance, her alliance with Julius Caesar helped her regain the throne from her brother Ptolemy the Treat, while her liaison with Mark Antony secured both her position and Egypt's independence for a time. These alliances, however, were not without their challenges. Cleopatra had to navigate the complex and often treacherous world of Roman politics, but she demonstrated remarkable political acumen, managing to maintain her alliances and protect Egypt's interests in the face of mounting Roman influence. Cleopatra's reign was not just about political maneuvering, though. She also implemented administrative policies to strengthen Egypt's economy and promote arts and culture. For instance, she encouraged trade, built magnificent structures, and sponsored festivals to honor the gods. Cleopatra was not just a queen. She was a political strategist, navigating the choppy waters of power in a world dominated by men. The woman behind the Roman propaganda was far more than a seductive queen. Cleopatra was an intellectual powerhouse, a linguist fluent in nine languages, a rarity even among the nobility of her time. She was the first of her dynasty to speak the language of her subjects, Egyptian, showcasing her dedication to her people. Cleopatra was also a patron of the arts and culture. Under her reign, Alexandria, her capital, flourished as a hub of Hellenistic culture, blending the best of Greek and Egyptian traditions. This city was home to the legendary Library of Alexandria, a testament to her commitment to knowledge and learning. Yet, the image that has prevailed over the centuries is that of a femme fatale. Roman propaganda, created by her political adversaries, painted her as a seductress, overshadowing her political acumen and leadership qualities. This narrative has influenced her portrayal in modern popular culture, often reducing her to a figure of exotic allure. Cleopatra, it seems, was a victim of smear campaigns, even in death. Cleopatra's end was as dramatic as her life. Her involvement in the Roman civil wars was pivotal, altering the power dynamics in Rome. As she threw her support behind Mark Antony, her fate became intrinsically linked with his. The defeat of Antony and Cleopatra at the Battle of Actium in 31 BC marked the beginning of their downfall. The events that followed were a tumultuous whirlwind. Antony fell on his own sword, mistakenly believing Cleopatra had done the same. Cleopatra, in her grief and faced with the prospect of being paraded through Rome in chains, chose to end her life. Her death signified the end of the Ptolemaic Kingdom, and Egypt was annexed by Rome, forever changing the course of history. Cleopatra's legacy is as complex as her life. She was a woman of exceptional intelligence and political acumen, ruling one of the world's most powerful kingdoms during a period of significant political turmoil. Yet, her life has been subject to historical debate and mythologizing. She has been painted as a seductress, her political skills often overshadowed by tales of her beauty and love affairs. However, 
recent archaeological discoveries have begun to shed new light on Cleopatra's reign, offering a more nuanced understanding of her rule and her era. As we peel back the layers of myth, we begin to see a leader who was much more than her romantic entanglements. Cleopatra's life and reign remain a subject of fascination, a testament to her enduring legacy and the power of her story.